Our next presenter, our next speaker is Sean Wilkinson and Sean is speaking on the Pathways Learning Experience. The Pathways Learning Experience, Sean Wilkinson. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. The word of the day is Pathways and the mission in Toastmasters is pathways. That's the curriculum. You heard from our first speaker that there are many in Toastmasters organization that would like to see a little bit of the old, more of a blend. And I know that the organization is looking at ways to appease and placate the members that have been around for decades or for a longer time than just the pathways process. Where pathways took us more on a vocational training. As I presented to you tonight, you'll see what they have done and the consideration for yourself because you can play and toggle with the different learning programs. The core of Toastmasters is always going to be there. Speaking, listening, leadership and management. There's also a way to pay it forward in the programs that you present to high schools, to primary schools, to leadership academies or places of learning where you go and influence people. I previously was asked to mentor 22 learner advocates, candidate advocates at a advocates or, um, a law society at a society because they wanted to have them learn public speaking and a little bit more confidence. Because when you're out there arguing for your client, you want to have a brand, you want to present something. So there are opportunities, if you put your fingers out there, to use what you've learned in Toastmasters and implement it in parts of your life. Or a new hobby, or a new path. All the members should be on a pathway. By show of hands, the members, are you on a pathway, and what is the pathway that you're on? Steph? Strategic Relationships. Strategic relationships, why did you choose that one? That is one of the ways now to form relationships. I don't like small talk, I'm not a fan of small talk. I prefer to get to the point and doing that in a professional environment, I believe, is would be the most productive and efficient way for me. As a person. So that's how you chose it, that's what you wanted. When you start your pathway, it gives you an evaluation. There's a short survey assessment where the organization tells you, based on your answers, what they think, what the, the algorithm, that's how we manage our lives now. We have algorithms that manage us. My wife and I speak about baking, and then baking, cake baking comes on my Facebook page. And I'm sure it's because I gave them permission to do the audio on my app. But it comes up, how many times has that happened? When you're speaking about something and then suddenly there's an advert or a story or something is posted. In Toastmasters, it's very much the same. You give input based on what you are feeling, what you are thinking, what you want to achieve. And you will obviously answer those with an element of bias. If you choose things that are opposite to how you're feeling, just to be obstinate, you'll end up on a path that it's recommended to you that you may not enjoy. So it's always best to do that evaluation very openly, very sincerely, and very honestly. If it gives you a pathway, like Steph wanted to do relationships because he's in that environment, that you don't want, that you thought, man, it's not for me, like humor, there's one on humor, mastering humor, and that's not what you want to do, you want to be more serious. You can choose to go, it's not compulsory, you can choose to choose a different path. If I look at the vacuum that's going to flat, if I look at the club, the actual club's pathways, Everybody, the organization doesn't tell me where you are today. It doesn't tell me 
if you on level three, four, or five, it kind of tells me you started something and then I went through a process of finding out. Anjum, Anjum is going to focus on humor, and then she did two. So she did humor, and she did PL is for persuasive, PI is for persuasive influence. Am I right, Anjum? And so she chose two pathways and then decided to follow the humor this year to achieve her different levels because she was having more fun with that. So every one of the members is on a path. So if you haven't started your path yet for MF, you can do it yourself, do your assessment, find out what the algorithm tells you, and then decide if that's the way you want to go. Nanette has tutored before on how to use the program, how to use Basecamp, so when you're ready, we'll help you through the setup. It's normally with your email and a password. You go onto a base camp on the internet site and it helps you select one. Some people are pausing because there may be an introduction of a new lesson plan, but I think the, the, the ones that we have are pretty ad adequate. And you'll notice that in the part, you will be able to still do speaking, evaluating, listening, Role playing, roles, and managing. So if you haven't got a path, I ask you please consider choosing a path and consider chasing the goals of that path. Because it will be level one, level two, level three, level four, and in some cases level five, and we need that for our DCP points. The 11 specialized learning paths are dynamic leadership, effective coaching, engaging humor, innovative planning, leadership development, that's something you can consider with the course you're doing or going to do, motivational strategies, persuasive influence, presentation mastery, strategic relationships, and in there you'll find things like conflict resolution or strategic thinking. It's very professional courses that they're adding to these programs. Team collaboration and visionary communication. In each one of the parts, there are normally four or five levels. The level one of all of the parts is mastering the fundamentals. That's your icebreaker, that's your research presentation, that's your feedback, that's your redoing your presentation with the feedback, and then that's your summary, which is presenting what you've learned on level one. Level two, they're starting to define your style. There are programs that assess your leadership style, your communication style, and it teaches you that then how to interact in the club or in other environments. Number three is where it starts to ask you to do more work based on what you've done in level one and two, when you start increasing your knowledge, you start doing something like this, where you put some slides together, you'll present to an audience, you'll use some kind of tactic to convince people, like our previous speaker was really pleading with us to consider debating as a way forward to encourage us to learn and develop both as ourselves, individually, and as a club. The fourth level will be choosing a selective or elective. So they give you multiple 10, 10 opportunities to decide. Maybe in the one program, it's how to write a blog, how to do an interview, how to do a eulogy. You have different electives that you can choose from, and then you have to do a minimum of one. On the pathway that I did previously, I did all 10, because it was a great learning opportunity, and it's 10 extra speeches, and you all know I like to talk. The last one is you demonstrate the expertise that you've developed in those four levels. I did do one pathway where there wasn't a level five, but then you have to do something extra. The concept of paying it forward or paying it back comes into play. You have to arrange an event. You have to participate in the arranging of an event. You've got to lead the club. Lynette's program last year was to achieve two presidents distinguished as part of her DTM project to make sure that both clubs that she's a member of achieve a certain level.
and that took a whole 12 months and a few months before preparing and a few months after demobilizing, demobilizing. So you reflect on your path during that process where you say, okay, I've learned a lot. How do I now use it? And when you're using it, Steph, you also can influence others. Because you have a skill now for karate. They say if you've learned to do kung fu or karate, you've got to tell people, I'm a black belt in karate, you don't want to argue with me because I have skills that you don't have. In this case, we don't tell anyone. We just impress them with the knowledge that we've gained and we, and we use that knowledge to boost them in the, in the process. If you do that, you can reach your BTM status. You will have to do some extra activities in the area or the district or in the executive of the organization, but you will become a distinguished Toastmaster. So for a myth, let's get you onto pathway as quickly as possible. Stefan, I'm going to help you to at least get to the level where you've already done the speeches. Then we'll move on to level three, or probably level two, three, or four. And anybody else that needs any help, please speak to me. I'm the club VPE, the Vice President of Education.